Hey guys, it's Jenny, and I wanted to hop on and do an October Favorites video for you. And I'm not exactly sure why people apologize for doing a Favorites for the previous month when it's a few days into the next month, because you really have to be finished with the months before you know what your Favorites truly are. Am I right? Am I right? Yeah. So, anyway, I've got a list over here. I thought I would do mine a little bit differently. Um, come up with some categories for each month and try to... Uh, you know, do my favorites in each category. Something different to offer you guys, so um, I hope you like it. And I've got my list over here, so I'm going to try to go in order so I can get all of my favorite paraphernalia in some, si some type of order. Um, favorite accessory for October is the skull scarf. Oh my gosh. I got this on eBay, and I have been loving it. I've worn it doubled and then I tuck the ends under. Um, there's a bazillion ways to tie a scarf. Um, it probably looks kind of jacked up. I do a better job. Um, anyway, and I, I wear it like this. I got this from an eBay seller and it came from like the moon or Hong Kong or somewhere. It took forever to get here but it was super cheap and it's so fun and it's just enough Halloween I wore, I wore this mainly with a bright pink shirt. So it was kind of a, you know, skulls, but I'm sweet. But skulls. Anyway. Okay, jewelry. Um, I make a lot of my own jewelry. And the first thing I look at at estate sales and things like that are people's jewelry. Costume jewelry, real jewelry, whatever. Um, so this was a Frankenstein piece from these big beads I got from a broken necklace and some of the wooden ones. Um, Hobby Lobby, some different packs of beads. I have the whole bead box. It's all separated. And then I got this little medallion. It's red and has an orange bird on it and it's just perfect for fall. Perfect fall colors. Love it, love it, love it. And I made these earrings to go with it that play off of that. So I've been wearing that a lot lately. Um, scent. Sweet cinnamon pumpkin baby all the way. I've got the shower gel. I've got the bubble bath. I've got the lotion. I've got the spray. I've got the candle. I've got, I'm like sweet cinnamon pumpkin patch kid. It, it's ridiculous. I love this. I just, uh, I mean, I just, I need some. Mmm. That's just so good. It's just fall. I mean, mmm, sweet cinnamon pumpkin. Love it, love it, love it. Um, favorite shoe of the night. I like me some shoes, guys. Um, these are my taupe shoes with a little bow on it and the bow looks kind of wrinkled because I had them in some storage things but what I do is I take my flat iron and put it in here irons it out perfectly um I believe I got these at Belk I wear a size five and a half that's why they look like I got them from Gap Kids um they're so super comfortable it's open here um I love them I like them with pants I like them with skirts um, I'll link belt down below. I got them uh, several seasons ago. <laughs> I just thought about, you know, like Clueless and all those movies. If you don't know what Clueless is, go ask someone that was alive then, <laughs> like me, because I'm old. Um, where she's like, oh my god, the shoes are so last season. Do people still do that? Like, for real? Because these were bought probably a couple years ago, but holy crap! They're so cute. I mean, seriously. So cute. And they're very comfortable. So, shoes. I'm going to try to not make this 100 years long. Okay. Clothing that I've been wearing. And this really isn't what I would pick for October. But for some reason, I've been jazzing it up. And wearing blazers with it. Which defeats the purpose of one of the things. Anyway, it's this teal top. With ruching on the side. But the back is this lace and it's so pretty and it has this cowl neck and it's beautiful teal and I got this at Walmart when I was buying groceries 
clothes and crap, jump in my buggy. Um, and somebody mentioned something about the difference between a buggy and a shopping cart. Yeah, I'm from the South. They're buggies. <laughs> Say, oh, hon, go hear me, buggy. You need a buggy, hon? I mean, if you go into Walmart or something, somebody's putting up a buggy, and you're acting like you're going to go get a buggy, they'll say, you need, you need this buggy, hon? That's just, that's what we do. <laughs> but anyway, this, um, they might still have it. I also have it in black. It is just adorable, great layering piece because it's already got the neck thing. Food. Um, food or drink is my next category. I made all these categories, so they may be stupid, but I don't care. It's my vlog. Um, anything pumpkin. Um, as with this, I love pumpkin flavors. I love pumpkin ice cream, I love pumpkin bars, pumpkin cake, pumpkin whatever. I do not like Starbucks pumpkin spice latte thing. I know, I know. Keep your pitchforks at home, guys, and torches. Um, I, I just don't like it. Starbucks is fine. I think they over their beans and it's a little bitter. Sorry. Um, if I go to Starbucks, I'm getting a chai latte every time. So, anyway. A website or an app. Okay. I have a dog, and I'm a big dog person. Even if you're not a dog person, I think you guys would enjoy this website. It's called Dog Shaming, and I'm going to put a link to that down below. I'm going to put a link to everything I can down below. Oh, my God. This website will make you pee in your pants. It's got all these dogs, these adorable dogs, that have eaten something horrific, thrown up in front of company, whatever. It sounds gross. It's, the, it's not gross. Just go see it. And they're humans, like, have signs, and they'll, like, hold signs in front of them of what they did. And, like, usually the dog's face is like, I'm so ashamed. And it's like dog shaming. And you know they didn't actually get in trouble. So, um, dogshaming.com, go there. It's hysterical. And they have like a dozen new ones every day. My mom and I will call each other and we'll be like, oh my God, have you been on dog shaming? You've got to look at the little black and white, whatever. And we'll just die laughing. I don't know. We may be weird. Um, TV show or movie. It's October, so it's Hocus Pocus, baby. Um, you cannot beat some Bette Midler and some classic Hocus Pocus. I love it. Um, I smell children. Um, that song Sarah Jessica Parker sings. Um, the Virgin lighting the black flame candle. I love it. I own it, and it is not Halloween in my universe until I have seen Hocus Pocus. I love it. Um, eyeshadow. This may be boring, um, but they'll get spicier. This is CoverGirl. Everybody's seen this. Tapestry Taupe. I have it on my eyes right now. I don't know if you guys can see. It's the only thing I have on my eyes. Um, I really like this wet. If you haven't ever tried the sweat, do it. Um, definitely try the sweat um, for a wash over the lid, and then I go back with the uh, dry end of the applicator. Wet is the only time I use these little things. Um, and then go over it with a brush to pat on, and it's intense, and it'll stay all day long. So, CoverGirl Tapestry Taupe. Uh, blush. This is sort of weird. It's Elf Blush and Koi, and it's almost like a rosy, purpley... I don't even know if you can... It looks lavender. Right, can you guys even see that? I have it on right now. It's just gorgeous for the fall. Um, a lot of times I'll put on like a hot pink, you know, uh, slightly dab it, and then I'll mute it out with this. So Elf, Blush, and Koi. And I believe this is from their dollar line. So, dollar look. From my lips. That's what I have on right now. It's the only thing I have on. Is Sally Hansen Diamond Lip Treatment in Royal Romance. Um... Love it. It's beautiful. It's got some bronze shimmer in it, and it has a brush applicator. It is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, it get, It's like your lips, but better. Your lips, but darker and better. Um, so Sally Hansen Diamond Lip Treatment in Royal Romance. Um, uh, 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 uh. Oh, hair. Um, I am the last person on the face of the earth to discover this, or actually to use it. Bossy, 
three minute miracle. Um, this really is awesome. I mean, it really is. However, I have fine, thin baby hair. And if I use this more than three times a month, maybe more than twice a month, uh-uh. It's going to be like I've got Crisco on my hair, even if I rinse and rinse and rinse and rinse and rinse. So this is like a once a month, make your hair behave thing. But I do love it, but I have to be sparse with it. Yeah, it took me that long to think of the word sparse. Shut up. Um, from my nails, and I just took this off because it's kind of a lot <laughs> for every day. It's Sensual Colors, one of my favorite brands, in 1135 Pumpkin Spice. Can you guys see that? Oh, my God. This is a clear base with red, orange, and yellow chunked up glitters. I mean chunked. It is so pretty. I did wear this over an orange base, but you could put two or three coats of this on, and it worked just fine. So, sinful colors, pumpkin spice. Again, with a pumpkin. I could, like, eat it. I don't know why. Um, a recipe, a pumpkin spice cheater cake. You might have seen these on Pinterest or something where you take any brand of spice cake mix and a can of pumpkin. And that's it. I'm going to have my recipe down below that I use and also my cream cheese frosting that I use on top of it. It is so fast, so easy, so simple, and so good. So get you some of that down below. Um book or a song. Again, I came up with these categories, so I don't know if it's stupid. I don't know. I don't care. Um, I picked a song this month. The TV show Nashville has mesmerized me. I am, I used to be a fan of Glee, but it started really getting on my nerves. Really great on my nerves. Um, but Nashville's like, you know, sort of a real thing. Not a real thing. <sighs> Whatever. There was a song on the first episode, and I believe it's called I Do. And one of the producer, producers, girlfriends, whatever, is singing it at the Bluebird Cafe. It's her poem, and this guy put it to music, and it's beautiful, and she has a sweet little voice. And I'm going to try to link the iTunes to that down below um, and hope it works. The toiletry favorite of the month are floss picks. I love floss picks. These are ugly. I put them in this. It's a cleaned out jelly jar um, and just have it there. I love my floss picks. I don't floss as much as I should even though how much easier can this be. They're right here. They're in a jar. They're on a stick. And I still don't do it every day. I know. And you guys know gum health is directly related to heart health. <sighs> when will I learn? Anyway, um, my last favorite, I'm actually going to insert a picture of it um, here. That is a little thing I got at a boutique in Alabama where I live. And... It was a Halloween decoration, and what they did was, in the store, they hung little black construction paper bats off of the thing, and it was just so adorable. I immediately thought of it for my smaller necklaces like this that tend to get lost in the shuffle. I've got my big bauble necklaces, big chunky, like, Willa Flintstone kind of rock-out necklaces, and these little guys just get lost, so I wanted something cute, and it almost turns them into art, so um, that was the picture of the tree there that I'm going to use year-round, and then maybe at Halloween drag it back out, or drag, drag the necklaces off of it and put little bats on it. So those are my October favorites, and I'm already... <laughs> I'm already making my list of November favorites. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope that some of my favorites will inspire you guys to go out and try something. Or um, maybe you guys have the same favorite. Maybe you love something too. So um, please, guys, leave me comments. Ask me questions. Any suggestions you have. Any videos you would like to see. I would love, love, love to hear from you. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day.